Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games back again with another ARK Survival Evolved news video. Today, the biggest thing that has happened to ARK in a long time. We're not talking about the Equus, we're not talking about Tech Tier, we're talking about the Flyer Nerf. So the other day I told you guys that there was a flyer nerf incoming and we didn't exactly know how it would work. Well we do now and people are going nuts over it. And I promise you this is not an April Fool's joke. So, a long time in the making, air combat has now been brought in line with overall nerfs to make things such as health, weight, speed and stamina. Stamina. Across the board, a 50% decrease to base stamina, not including moths, and per level stamina increase amount. So there will be an increased stamina recovery time for flyers as well, it's going to take longer. And there won't be any recovery of stamina in the air if the creature is being ridden or if a player is standing on it. So no more doing the glitch with the quets. And no speed upgrade. This clears the existing level up speed stats and gives the points back to you to spend elsewhere. So whatever your flyer is, that is its speed stuck at that level from now on made passenger carrying weight scaling 1.0 for flyers increased with an elemental stamina cost riding speed of flyers decreased by 10 to 30 percent decreased quets per level hp so no more having a tank as a quets and added a three second cooldown to a patera barrel roll Whoa, that, that, is, that is some big massive nerf not to warn people about. They literally gave about three days notice. They stuck it in the patch notes and said the fly nerf was coming. No warning, no telling you anything, get prepared. That is a huge nerf. There are a lot, a lot of angry people on Twitter right now replying back to Jen. To restrict your ability to actually up put points in a creature that you want in terms of its speed that is incredible maybe they plan to do that across the board we don't know for definite but that seems massively massively op for just one type of dinosaur now i'm going to go through some other bits as well as some of the other functions from all the other notes that jen actually released this is her own version of patch notes a little heads up on everything that got included in the update and it is relevant whether or not you've got it on console or pc even if it, you have to wait for it it's still really good information so if you've not seen my Equius Tame video go and check that out now i think i was one of the first people to actually get a video up of it being tamed Lots of cool stuff with that, lots of good abilities. It's a basically a, mo a mobile mortar and pestle, and it's got a really cool tame feature. Very hard, but very, very, very rewarding once you actually do it. As we saw in the trailer, the brand new Leader Synthesis is aggressive towards rafts when they enter its aggro range. There is a rare white version of the Leeds. That's going to be even bigger than a normal. And you'll get a special cosmetic item called the Captain's Hat when you kill an Alpha Leeds. The Icky can do fishing for you, we knew this from the trailer and some of the dossier um, shots. But you will get more prime fish meat if you use the actual goal as well. The Iguanodon has got infinite stamina when in quadrupod mode, so when it's on four legs it can run really quickly. Um, also won't run out of stamina. And its best ability, which I'll be doing another tame video on today, is that it converts fruit in its inventory into seeds. They released the underwater base sections, but they didn't release the tech cave. We've got two new pieces, the vacuum compartment and vacuum compartment moon pool. It's generally just a big square that you can use, but you can make it either solid or glass style. And the moon pool obviously is how you can get out from the bottom so that no water gets into the base. The tech teleporter, big news, it's massive. I didn't realise how big it was going to be. It's powered by element shards. You need to shred element in the replicator to get these. So that means it will run on smaller amounts of element, but you still have to break the element down to run the teleporter. The cost of the teleport is going to be based on the size of your creature. So anyone planning on taking their whole tribe to go to war may have to think again. They may need a significant amount of element. 
and we've got the tech power generator as i previously said all power all structures that run electricity won't need wires this will do the whole job as long as it's in the area and the tech MOSA saddle just like the rest of the tech stuff you have to know the engram in order to use the saddle so you need to go and face some of the bosses to unlock the MOSA saddle big one i forgot to mention from the trailer we've now got amphibious creature breeding it's been in the patch notes for a while, but I forgot I saw it in the trailer list day. People were pointing it out. There was like a baby little dolphin. You can't bring eggs out of water, so you're going to have to actually build a pen or keep them close by to your base so that you can raise them. But you don't need to worry about temperature as it's in the water at all times. The menu design has got a massive upgrade. Lots of people complaining. There are just different tabs on it. Go and check out my Equius Tame video. You'll see the menu in actual action. I've added a bunch of new sounds to the game for all lots of creatures. As we said before, one new hairstyle. We've got the ponytail and we've got mutton chops. Now it says 20 plus. I think there's nearly 30 explorer notes. Some other changes to note, player invulnerability after eel attack increased to 5 seconds. Scuba tanks will give you oxygen underwater even when a player is offline, so you can go offline near your base maybe from now on. Stuff to do with underwater mines. One of the biggest ones that they didn't tell anyone about and people are complaining their bases have been destroyed or ruined is the vault health and physical size has been decreased. So no longer building bases out of vaults. Someone was a bit narky and asked Jen a question about the vaults and why they'd done it and she said it was kind of the point in what universe does someone look at a vault drop base and think yeah that's totally intended gameplay. And lots of people were saying that their bases have been ruined etc. You can now place turrets underwater. But they'll only target things actually under the water. They've nerfed the speed buff gained from oxygen stat on dinos by 80%. That's a real shame. It looks like they've taken away the ability from some land dinosaurs to be able to go under the water for massive amounts of time. C4 is limited to one per dino. Again, PvP options are getting slaughtered. And just like the, the sheep, the sheep now have a slaughter option too. Incredible stuff guys, like I said I can't believe they've done that massive nerf without any communication properly beforehand. And as you can see they've got no next date for the next update. New tech cave, silical active volcano, dynamic length bridges that's been on there for months. And all the same things they've always had. So it looks like we really could be approaching final release of the game. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Let me know what you think about the flying nerfs. Obviously, I think most people are going to be disappointed. Personally, I can see why they've done it. I think when you're playing the game, the rendering distance, the way the map loads into the game, because your flies are so fast, can it impact the server? So maybe that's the reason they've done it as well, to make stability a bit more better. But there's going to be lots of issues with people trying to get away from wyverns or taming wyverns or milking them etc as well as all the other abilities that some of them offer like the Quetz's stamina easily one of the most controversial updates i think i've seen such exciting new stuff with some of the brand new creatures like the equius like the iguanodon obviously massive changes with the tech tier underwater bases i really don't think these underwater bases are going to work i can't see many people Go into the trouble of doing that and having a life that lives underwater, especially even in PvP. I just think people are so used to building bases and things on land that they're never going to go to the trouble of making these huge bases. It just take up too much resources and too much time to manage and defend them. But I don't play PvP, so who knows? We'll have to see how it develops in the next few months, whether or not it's a turning point for Ark. A lot of people are complaining about the way that things have gone for Ark lately. It's still as popular as ever, it still has 50,000 people playing it daily on Steam alone, let alone Xbox and PlayStation 4. So people predicting the death of Ark are widely, widely wrong, but there is a little bit of a slowdown in Ark, and you can see that from other YouTubers' content, there doesn't appear to be much coming up, everyone's kind of covered a lot of the stuff that's here. So Ark definitely needs to keep people on board, especially with things like the 
flying nerf stuff like that could really turn people off the game so hopefully it balances out let me know absolutely let me know in the comment section what you think about it i am jay plays games for all the arc news the best news tutorials guides let's plays i've got it all covered so make sure you go and check it out